Well, it's no secret the Baldwin County area is growing rapidly, so much so two new schools are being added to the school system's roster beginning Wednesday. And NBC 15's Kate Thomas joins us now. Kate, these additions have also created a need for more teachers. That's right, Kim. Job fairs and an all-out blitz recruiting effort has helped to fill these open positions. Baldwin County schools are getting used to its growth spurts. More students plus more schools equals more teachers. It's been easy to recruit. The fact that the Baldwin County school system pays its teachers 6.5% more than the state starting salary average. Finding educators is not a problem. A lot of times keeping people and having people want to come to Baldwin County has not been a problem. In the spring, we get more resumes uh, than we can manage. However, as the county and the school system continues to expand, there is still a need for more custodians, cafeteria workers, and bus drivers. And we started a classified job fair that was very successful. I'm meeting tomorrow with our HR department and our CSFO and others to look at our classified uh, population to see what we can do to attract more to those fields. The Daphne Ninth Grade Academy is now the second standalone ninth grade academy within the Baldwin County school system. And Tyler says there are even plans to expand these academies even further. This time next year, I've charged the rest of our high schools to make sure that you have a ninth grade academy up and running in your school. The Baldwin County school system will continue to expand and Superintendent Tyler tells me he hopes to have one more addition by the year 2024, Silver Hill Elementary. Reporting live from Baldwin County, Kate Thomas, NBC 15 News.